Art school admissions counselors request drawings and or paintings of hands because it gives them an idea of the applicant's ability to perceive and render functional structure, proportion, and light on form in a realistic manner. Images of hands that you submit for your portfolio must be drawn from direct observation of yourself or a live model and without the use of photography. Drawings and paintings may be either in black and white or in color. Hands may be shown in repose or in action. Many artists have difficulty painting and drawing hands. It's one of the most, if not the most, difficult subjects to draw. Because we see our hands all day long, we tend to make assumptions when drawing them. It is important to really look at the hand you want to draw. One tip to render hands accurately is to notice the negative space between the fingers. We get caught up with the fingers and the palm and don't pay attention to the gesture. When you look at the negative spaces, you can see the pose more accurately. Also, take the time to learn the bone structure and proportions of the hand. Hands are complex, so think about the bones underneath when you're drawing, particularly the knuckles. Just knowing the basic proportions of the hand will make it easier to draw without measuring. Once you've practiced drawing hands enough that you're able to use them as a subject to draw, paint, or sculpt for your art portfolio, think about the symbolism of hands in art. The hand is the most frequently symbolized part of the human body. The hand speaks. They are expressive, conveying dramatic human emotion. The hands can indicate strength, power, or protection. There are so many hand gestures varying in symbolism. Blessing, consecration, guilt, healing, honesty, the hand on the heart for love and adoration, or two hands clasped for friendship. Through drawing a simple gesture of the hand, a person's character and personality are revealed as clearly as if you'd rendered their face. For most people, their hands express feelings that we've taught our faces to disguise. When you've taken the time to draw many people's hands, the lines, the curves, the veins, you'll find that the hands have moods, character, and their own particular beauty. Start by using your own hands as reference or a friend or a family members. Before you start to draw a hand, make sure you pick an interesting gesture. Try to experiment a lot by performing a gesture and notice what happens to your hand. Start by blocking in bigger shapes, then later add details. Always keep in mind that learning how to draw hands can really be a challenge. Even experienced artists struggle with it. But learning how to draw hands is a vital skill that you must learn to and express in your art portfolio. Ashcan Art offers art portfolio preparation classes year-round. Contact us at infomanhattan at ashcanart.com and see the classes we offer at www.ashcanart.com. You can see us on Instagram at ashcanart and please subscribe below for more art portfolio tips.